Good morning, everybody. Today we have a vocabulary of hatchets, a new story. And before the new story, as you know, we have to learn the vocabulary of that story. So before that, let's go to this presentation together and have some of the words that we are going to have. Or let's read this story together first. OK. Um, Today we have the first story of the first um, uh, of the unit three, and it's about the, the story of hatchet. And in this unit, we are going to learn about challenges and obstacles and how to overcome any obstacle in your life and any challenge or difficulty in your life. And uh, before that, we have this small passage right here, uh, which contain all the vocabulary that we need. Is so here? let's hear it together. Yes, Watin. Can I go first bring my book from, uh, from the room? Yes, of course you can. Go. <clears throat> okay, but before that, my girls, you can see right here, there is a little skill or strategy that I can use to form vocabularies or to form new words. This, uh, this technique is what's adding ed and ing. What does that mean? It means that there are some words and some uh, uh, and some verbs that if I add for it ed or ing, I will change the tense of the verb, okay? And also, I can change the part of the speech of that word. Yani, instead of having this word as, for example, uh, a verb, I can change it to noun or I can change it to uh, adjective. Like, for example, if I give you the verb create. Okay, the verb create right here, it is what it is present, right? But if I say she created, she created an, um, she created a device, a new device. Okay, so now when I put ed, this verb, is it present right now when I say created or which part is this? Huh? It was a create, it was a present. Now I added ed. When I added ed, the verb become what? Present or what? Present or past or future with the ed? No, past. It's past, excellent. So with the ed, it will be past. So right here, with adding only two letters, I change the tense of the verb. Instead of having it as a present, I made it as past with only two letters. Also, if I want to change it again to make it a present and present continuous, I will say, as we learned, she is creating a new device. So right now, from making it past, I made it again a present. By what? By adding ing right here. So as you can see right here again, I, I removed the ed and I put it, I put ing and the verb changed to become again present. So only by adding ing or ed, we can change what? We can change tense of the verb. What does it mean tense? It means the time of the verb. Is it past? Is it future? Is it present? This is for the adding ing and ed for the tense. Another thing I can use this thing for is by using and adding ed and ing, actually, I can change the meaning or the part of a speech of the word from one part of a speech to another. What does it mean? It means that if I come to the word create again, it is a verb, right? Right. If I, uh, if I said like this, the or the created the created device was perfect so right now when i come to the word created right here actually it comes as adjective not a verb this time 
How we miss? Yes, because now the verb is was. The main verb is was. And created right here, I used it as what? As adjective. And I am talking about what? I'm describing the device. So I'm saying about the device, the created device. So the word created right here is what? Is adjective. So by adding only ET, I change the part of speech of from being a verb to have it as adjective with only two letters. This is for the ED. Okay. Let me also add ing and see what part of speech that will give me. I will say the creating of the device is amazing. Okay, again, right now I'm saying what the creating of the device. Here, creating with the ing, I made it as what? As noun. So instead of verb, I made it as a noun. Why? Again, because the verb is. The main verb is. And the noun right here, create, it become as a noun by adding ing. So adding ed and ing can change two things. Can change the tense of the verb to have it from present to make it a past or to make it a present with ing. And can change also another thing which is part of a speech of the word from verb to adjective from verb to noun and etc by only adding two letters or three letters at the end of the word so this is a very important skill that will help me to have more vocabularies and to create even and to make new words and new vocabularies by only adding extra what extra letters it's very simple. Understood, my girls? Yeah, miss. Okay. So let's go for this um, passage right here to read it and to see uh, all the words that we need. Okay. Uh, wilderness camp. Who wants to, to read? Malak, are you here? No. Okay, I will start with Lean. Lean. Can you hear me? I can't hear yeah. you. I want you to read, sweetie. I woke okay. early. I woke early to unfamiliar sounds. Slow, slowly, I re registered in it, my. Just it registered in. It registered in my mind that I was not home, but in a tent in the north woods mm -hmm. of Michigan. My whole body had stiffened from sleeping with only a sleeping bag between me and the remarkably, 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 remarkably hard ground. Why had I signed for unforvilledness? camp i wasn't sure i could take a month of roughing it soon everyone was up and consist con concentration 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 on breakfast mm -hmm. first we would have to build a fire we had sat up late last night until the campfire um, campfire was on. Only ash. Uh, was only ash and embers and that sm smolders, smoldered, smoldered, smoldered mm -hmm. our consular, consular, counselor. Counselor Daniel had a doubt it will it will with water from the river. An unwanted campfire could An start unattended campfire. unattended campfire would start a forest fire. And we didn't want that. Okay. I took, uh, I, took, I 
took a hatchet of a begin began to cut a dead branch into uh, firewood. Daniel built the fire using pa painstaking care. Mm -hmm. He started with wa wetted, waited, waited up, waited up newspaper and small dead twigs. We would learn the larger piece of woods around this and then in itchin, ignite, itchin, ignite. ignite the paper. As we worked, I showed Daniel the curious holly stick I had found yesterday. He told me it was a quill from a porch, porcupine, 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 porcupine. Okay, excellent reading, Yaleen, and I want you to practice more reading next, inshallah, when we read the story. Okay, the wilderness camp. This story is about a person who went to camping with his friends and with his school, and they went into the woods to have a camping a trip right there. When they went in there, what they did, they had to make a breakfast. To make a breakfast, they have to make a fire. So he had to learn how to make that fire out of scratch, out of nothing. So he started to what to collect all the twigs and small logs and bring it all together. And then he tried to ignite the fire by igniting a little uh, piece of paper. This paper was an old paper, so he put some fire on it and he tried to ignite it. When it was ignited, he put it where, under the twigs and the whole thing, it became a fire. After, after uh, they had the fire and the breakfast, the counselor of that camp, he said for him that after we finish, we have to put out the fire by putting some water on it. Because if the fire stay there, that can spread with the winds. It can spread for other uh, trees and then burn the whole woods just from small fire so we so we have to be so careful when we want to make a fire in the in the middle of the woods and in the middle of the jungle because that can start an enormous fire so these are the words that we have right now what is the first word my dear hi Watin. we have hatchet hatchet Excellent. I took a hatchet and began to cut a dead branch into firewood. So hatchet would be what? Would be something sharp or? No, I think it's like the axe or yes. something. Yeah, so hatchet, it would be something sharp. It's like axe. So hatchet. The Pain second word is? Painstacking. Painstacking care. So Daniel built the fire using painstacking care. So pain is taken care, it means what? It means a super and extremely careful thing. Yeah, and when he wanted to make the fire, he was super careful. Why? Because he doesn't want um, the, the sparks of the fire goes here and there. And then after that, he will have a fire in the whole jungle. He has to be super and pain stacking care. And then we have ignite. I ignited the little paper with some fire. So what does it mean ignite? To burn or? Yeah, it's to burn and I made it burn. Excellent. Then um, I wanted to go to the school, but I registered in my mind that today there is no school. So what does it mean registered? Like wandering or? Wandering or, or realized. I realized that today there was no school. And then yesterday I slept on the ground and there was no bed. And there was no sheet and nothing. I just slipped in the ground. And today my whole body is stiffened. Ouch, my back. <laughs> what does it mean? Like, um, he have like a pain in his body or yes. ass. Excellent. Stiffened, it means that your whole body is tightened and you feel oh, like you. pain. And, and your whole body, you need some massage just to make it like <laughs> open again and the muscles open again. <laughs> so <laughs> this is for the... Uh, Stephen, just a minute. And then we have the word quill. Huh. He I told think quill me is an animal, quill. right? No. 
For example, if I need a quill, I have to take it from a bird. And then I can put it in some ink and write with it. So quill what is, is what? Quill, quill is, is a feather. A feather can I, I can use for writing. This is a quill. You see this is why, why they're putting in quill a picture of an animal. Huh? They put for quill a picture for an animal. Where? And they're reading this. Ah. Like an animal or... I will see it with you later. But this quill is what is a feather that you have to write with it. You may put it with the ink. This is the quill. Or some type of needle. Yani. The quill is not necessarily a feather. No, it's the, the needle part of this feather. You see this one? You see yeah. this part right here? This is the quill. I call it quill of the feather. So this one is a quill. This one right here is a quill. Um, this one right here is a quill. So it's the side, the needle side of the feather that I use it to write. So quill could exist also in other animals. If they have a quill like this, if they have like sharp stuff and sharp side like this one. For example, hedgehog, it has some quill in it because his uh, uh, spines are what are very sharp, like needle. So quill is anything sharp and as needly uh, part. And then we have smoldered. What does it mean smoldered? burned and smoked with a little smoke like for example i made a fire but then the coal of that fire was smoldered what does it mean smoldered it was burned yani, and we have some light of of, uh, of burning and flames and it has a little smoke we call it smoldered or smoldered so what are the words that we have for today just a minute so the first word we have is the first word we have is quill. Quill is a needle, one uh, of the sharp, pointy spine on uh, a porcupine uh, porcupine's back. This is porcupine's back. Porcupine's back. You see this one, this animal? It's yeah. hedgehog, right? Some people also call him something else. They call him porcupine. So this one, it has like needles like this one. And these needles, you can use it to, uh, uh, to do something. Like, for example, you can use it for writing. You can use it for, uh, for building something. We are going to learn it, inshallah, in the story. But some people use it for some stuff. And it's also... Uh, it's a way of defense. It's a mechanism of defense, so cool which means with somebody, sharp. when what? So cool. It means something sharp. Yes, coil. It means something sharp, like this one. You see his needles right here, right, right here, and the spines of his body. It's yeah. a mechanism of defense, which means if anybody comes near him, he will hit him with those things like this. Is it a poison or? Not? It's not a poison. No, no. It's actually it's not that hard, Dan. If you keep uh, keep um, uh, a careful look to that, it's not similar. Yeah, it's similar to hedgehog, but it's another animal. And this one is not as pointy and as sharp as the hedgehog right here. This one is more soft. The hedgehog like this. It's cute. This is hedgehog. You see, his 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 he's so cute, and he's he has a different shape, subhanAllah, and he's smaller sometimes. But uh, his his back is so uh, pointy, and he, he, these spines that he has are so pointy and and hurt so much. It's not that tall as you can see, and it yeah. hurt so much because when he curled and he made it up like this, he can hurt somebody and if it if it enter your body or something it will hurt you so bad okay miss how uh, how they're carrying him you see how how pointy are these you see it's so miss, sharp and small carry him. 
Some people carry him, yes. When he do that, when he do his pointy sharps, because this one he can make it, subhanAllah, he can make it like uh, sleepy, these spines, and he can he can make it alert. When he make it alert, he is under threaten. So he want to want to uh, defend himself. So this is what he do. He just curl around himself and make it pop out, all of it. But if he feel safe and good, then he will make it down. It's like hair for him, by the way. It's his hair. Yeah. So he can yeah. make it pop out and he can make it down when he wants. And when he feels safe, it will be like this. It will be not that pointy. But if he feels under threatened, he will be like this. He will cover himself and he will put all his back. He will curl around himself and he will put all his needy, his needle um, spines in this way. So anybody touch him, he will have some spines inside his head or inside his leg. You protect his face and his body. Exactly. You see, this person is scared from him because he doesn't feel safe. He curled. So he tries to touch him with the gloves. Yes, he can't touch him like this. But here he feels so cute and he doesn't want to hurt. You see his hair? He made it yeah. down. He made and his it face down. looks smart. Yeah. He, he's not scared. Here also, he's not scared. She is raising him, that's why. You see right here, she even can't touch him. Why? Because yeah. he feels safe. When he feels safe, it's good. But he doesn't feel safe, he will be... Okay? Then this is the hedgehog. The, uh, the other animal that we have is... Porcupine is different. As you can see, his, his bag is full of needles. And these needles are so big and tall. Yeah. Okay, so this is the porcupine. It's a type of animal. And wallahi, you know, for me, it's the first time to see this animal in my life because I never saw it before. Because this type of animal, we don't have it in our environment. So, yeah. so it's weird to see it because it's it's different from the things that we have. Yes, Salim. Um. Uh, uh. I saw it before because my uh cousin dad uh he has like a stubble like where he has like animals and he has this animal. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you saw him in in a, a normal way. Yeah. Okay. Miss, actually, when uh, when we travel. I, I saw it, but but we can we can enter to him because like uh, uh, the um, the man who like who said the rules he said that you can't enter to him and you can't like touch him because um, like you you hurt yourself and um, sometimes um, he can't see people he he like to hurt them. It's yes. crazy. You see right here, these are the quills from, from his back. These are the quills from his back. This is a quill. You see how sharp it is? Yeah. Okay. So that's why when I, when I showed you the, the feather also, it has a quill. Quill, the needle part of the feather. And this one is all quill right here because those quills, we can use it for drawing, for writing if we want. Some people use it and sell it for other people. Now you see it's it's uh, it's sold on, on Amazon. It's sold in Amazon. Why? Because some people need it for drawing. Some people need it for writing. It's a nice thing to have. Okay. And some people uh, use it uh, also for decoration. You see this one, the poor the poor dog right here. He had some coils on his face. He tried to touch him, but he was all ruined. Okay. This is coil. And then we have the next word we have is. Stiffened. Stiffened, it means tightened. As I told you, when your ha ha, your back is stiffened, it means that it hurts you so much and you need some massage for it to make it uh, the, the muscles open again. Recited, it means to be flowed back. Like, for example, if I say recited sea. Today, the sea was recited back. It means what? It means the waves of the sea are going back and you can see all the boats or the animals on the sea. So the C is drawn back. So recited, it means drawn back or flooded back. And then smoldered. Smoldered means burned coal or burned woods. Smoldered. 
like this is smoldered. And I say smoldered coal, it will be like this. It's uh, it's burned, but there's no a lot of smoke around it. Uh, there's no a lot of of, uh, of a smell around it. No, it's only burned burnt coal, like this, or burnt woods, like this one. So this one, the red the red side right here, it's called smoldered. The red side like here, it's called smoldered, burnt. It means it's burnt. And then we have registered, it means realized. And we have another meaning for registered, which is recorded. Like, for example, I want to register this video. It means to record this video. Or, for example, we have another meaning also. When I say I want to register in this school, it means I want to sign my name and to enroll in this school. Also, when I say I registered in my mind that today there is no homes, uh, there is no school. So registered, it means realized. So it has a three meanings, realized or record or enrolled, three things. And then we have pain stacking. This person is pain stacking his work. What does it mean pain stacking? It means that he tried to draw it very carefully. He tried to do his job very carefully. Those people are pain stacking this painting. Why? Because they are drawing it very carefully because they want it to be a masterpiece. So they are pain stacking. And then we have hatchet. Hatchet is a small axe. Hatchet. This is an, uh, a hatchet. It's an axe, but a small one. And then we have, okay. okay. Right now, these are the, the words. I want you to open your books, notebooks on the page 180 in the notebook. Miss? Yes? Page what? 180, 180. Okay, my girls. This is the page I want you to open. So it's 180. Okay. These are the verbs that we have, the words that we have. Hatchet, ignite, pain stacking, quill, registered, smoldered, and stiffened. Now, choose the word that goes with the right definition. The first one we have is, hi, Just sit on fire. Ignite. Ignite. Excellent. So to sit in fire is to ignite a fire. So use the word ignite. And then number two, Yaline, to have? To have been made or become rigid. Something rigid and hard and tightened. It's what? It's my back is hard. My back is rigid. Huh. It is stiffened. Yeah. Stiffened, very good. Number three, watin, a stiff, sharp hair or spine. Um, co a coil. Or... Coil, excellent. So we have quill, not coil, quill. And then we have extremely careful. Um, pain stacking. stacking. Very good, pain stacking, excellent. And then we have burned and smoked without flame. Smoldered. 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 Very good. Smoldered. Excellent. Okay. Now, did you finish these? Yes, I'm in the last two. Okay, Lean, what about you? Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. done? Okay, let's go yeah. down. Okay, next word we have, next question we have is, choose the word from the box that best matches each clue. Write the letters of the word on the blanks. So number six right here. This happens to a match after it is blown out. Huh. You know the matches that we use to, to, uh, to have a small fire with it? The matches. 
Oh, um, smoldered. Smoldered, very good. So when it's finished burning, we call it smoldered. Yes. Smoldered. Okay, number seven. This is uh, a porcupine's defense. Quill. Quill. Very good. So, Q. And then number eight, you might use this to chop wood. Hatchet. Hatchet. Very Hatchet. good. So, hatchet. Hatchet. Um, number nine. You use a match to do this to a pile of wood. You might use... A pile of wood. You are using a match to what to do the, to the woods. You want to burn it. Ignite. So, uh, ignite. ignite. Excellent. So we have the word ignite. Ignite. Babe, number nine. They, uh, the, um, okay, this is our right here. The mystery is registered. 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 Very good. So the word, mystery word is registered. 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 Okay, my gears, done? Yeah. Okay, five minutes break, and let's come back to read the story of Hatchet. Bye-bye. Okay.